Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back, and I just wanted to come and run my mouth and talk about some people. All right, y'all, listen to this. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and just tell y'all what's going on, and then y'all can tell me, girl, what we think. <laughs> okay? All right, so I'm going to put the link in the description box so you can see the video. Um, this is according to TMZ Quavo. Video shows him in cuffs on yacht during an incident in Miami. Um, so Quavo was on board. Uh, I'm sorry, Quavo, Quavo was on board a yacht in Miami when two men allegedly threatened the boat's captain. The video shows the rapper being detained by police, although nobody in, ended up being arrested. TMZ obtained footage from Sunday's incident on the Miami River, and you can see Quavo handcuffed with the zip ties as he sits on um, the boat deck and appears to interact with at least three police officers. Um, cops in Miami say they got a 911 call about an alleged strong arm uh, robbery on a yacht. And police uh, say folks on the boat told them about, told them two men got aggressive with the captain who said the rental time was near, was near its um, conclusion, allegedly prompting the men to demand a refund. Y'all catch y'all. So basically, allegedly the captain told them, girl, it's time, it's time to go home. And then the people got mad, allegedly, and girl said, we want our money back. <laughs> okay. Um, this is all alleged, okay? Um, the incident report obtained by TMZ says that one of the men threatened to unalive the captain and throw him off the yacht if he turned the boat around. I said, oh girl. One crew member told police he saw a man take the captain's wallet and cell phone, but cops say folks on the yacht gave conflicting statements on this allegation. In the video, you also see a group of women sitting on the dock as police lights flash and Quavo sits near officers with his hands behind his back. Police also say they found two pieces. Y'all know what pieces, pieces mean, bang, bang, um, on the boat, but add that the gun add that the pieces um, weren't used in any alleged threats. The Migos rapper's attorney, Drew Finding, tells TMZ, to be clear, Quavo was not mentioned in the police report narrative. Not only was Quavo not arrested, he is not even listed as a witness to any alleged dispute. Ultimately, no one on the boat was arrested. So you got the people, so you got the, the crew saying that girl y'all snatching wallets and threatening people. And then the people saying that the crew is basically lying, ain't none of that happened. My spirit tells me, <laughs> my spirit tells me, this is what I think happened. <laughs> I, 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 I'm going to tell you what I think happened. <laughs> I think Quavo was probably somewhere on the yacht playing dice, playing cards. <laughs> Girl probably getting some head in the bathroom. And he ain't know what was going on. And then I think it was it, it all it all it all it's always that one or two ignorant in the group that ain't paid for nothing but got the most say. And I think those one or two ignorant, once they told them, honey, it's girl, it's not, girl, it's about to be 10 o'clock, it's time to go home, girl. They was probably a little, you know, feeling good. And that's when the, that's when the chaos and confusion started. I feel like that could, that could be a real story. I feel like that's what happened. And I feel like once it was it was a crew member in the back girl wrapping stuff up and they saw they was peeping and saw the mess that was going on and when the cops got there girl i'm, I'm telling y'all the story and then when the cops got there of course everybody on the boat was like girl we good ain't nothing happened and then the crew was like no girl it did happen but I would feel like a boat like that, a yacht like that, they would probably have cameras on. It's a possibility that, girl, the crew could have been lying. It's always a possibility in anything. 
that the crew could have been lying and that nothing really happened. Do you think they have cameras on the yacht? I don't know. Anyways, I don't know, y'all. I don't know what happened, girl. If y'all know what happened, y'all let us know, because I don't know. <laughs> it ain't got nothing to do with me. I don't want no, I don't, I don't want no smoke with nobody, honey, okay? All right, y'all. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. Um. Oh. I'm conflicted. I was talking to my sister, my biological sister, and I really don't know how to feel about this. For real. On this one, I'm going to read the comments, and I want y'all to let me know what y'all think. And then maybe y'all could help me figure it out. Because <laughs> I don't know what to think. Okay, so let me just go ahead and get into the story. Okay, so Peter Thomas says he collected 15% of ex-wife Cynthia Bailey's RHO, oh, RHOA check because being on the show took time away from his business. Um, so the former RHO, RHOA star revealed recently that despite not being paid directly from the show, he and his ex-wife, Cynthia Bailey, had an agreement to make sure his time was covered financially. Peter Thomas, 62, spoke with the former Real Housewives producer, Carlos King, um, recently and shared that he used, that he used to collect a portion of his wife's earnings to keep up his own business ventures. Okay, so let me go ahead and just play what Mr. Peter, Peter, Peter had to say. Okay. And Cynthia used to sit around like, you know, like, am I going to get called back? You know, for some year after year, you just, get your money go from a quarter million to a half a million to 750000 to a million, and it just keep on come, going up. If you keep on coming back. And I used to laugh, watch her damn near bite her nails if she's coming back. I said, yo, there's nobody like me and you in the show. We're coming back. Stop, stop stressing. You know what I'm saying? And it, it worked. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, even when I got my divorce with her, I tell her I want nothing. So I, I kind of leave $5 million on the table. So <laughs> she should be enjoying that shit because I took nothing. Would she pay you to appear on the show sometimes? Like to take scenes? Uh, no, well, you know, like, you know, everybody, they have the, the, the glam squad and they, you know, they, they uh, you know, they stylists, they're hair and makeup people, you know, and, you know, I, I used to take 15%, whatever, whatever, whenever the check comes and I'll take 50% because I had to keep my shit up also. And, you know, the time that I was giving to you guys was actually taking away time from my business. So our agreement was that I would take 15% after we pay all our household bill. And Cynthia used to sit what business is Peter? <laughs> Anyways, no, but for real. But, okay, I don't know how I feel about this. Because, okay, on one, okay, 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 okay. Girl, one side of me wants to say, girl, I wish the nigga would try to take 15% of my money, girl, no. But the other side of it is like, girl, I know some of y'all going to be shocked at what I'm about to say. They were married. They probably had their own financial situations besides the ones they probably had together. You see what I'm saying? Which I'm trying to say, they probably didn't have joint accounts more than likely. So Peter had his own money, since they had their own money, and then whatever bills they probably had together, probably like mortgage or whatever. I don't know. You know how some people have like that one account where they put money in and it's just for their bills? This is not to take away anything from Cynthia Bailey. But I think if we're going to be, I feel if we're going to be honest, people who have watched the show know that Peter played a very important role in the show. People used to call Peter Patricia because they felt as though he w was always in the mess. A big part, I feel that one of the big reasons why Cynthia was asked back season after season after season was partly because of Peter. As quiet as it's kept, Peter Loki was more entertaining than Cynthia was.
the house the house husbands on New Jersey, for what I understand, correct me if I'm wrong, they get paid. But the house husbands on New Jersey, they play a big, big part in how that show moves along. Like I, I've seen an episode or two where girl, they show the husbands just as much, if not more, than the wives. It makes sense why they receive a paycheck because the husbands on Real Housewives of New Jersey, regardless if you like them or being part of the show or not, they actually work. <laughs> okay? They put on a show when the cameras come on. So I think they're the only husbands, but I also think they have enough husbands on that show, on that cast, that are willing to participate. They don't really, they really didn't, from what I understand, New York, no one was married. Um, Beverly Hills, they have PK and Mauricio, but you know, um, um, Atlanta, you know, them niggas, they too, they too cool for school. So you really don't get nothing from them. They'll try, they'll try and make the, the, the guys happen on, it's like trying to make fetch happen with the men on, on, on the, on, on Atlanta, um, and Potomac. Um, but I don't know. I, I feel like it's nothing wrong with it because Peter did. He, it's not like it's not like Peter didn't do anything. You know what I'm saying? And then Peter was like, "You're not gonna give me none of your money. <laughs> You're not gonna give me none of it." Peter actually used to work on Real Housewives of Atlanta, and we know that. So I could, I could understand why Cynthia probably felt that she should give him just a little piece of her check because truth be told, if it probably wasn't for Peter some of those seasons, Cynthia could have got the boot. But I feel, and I feel like if people are being honest, Peter played a big part in Cynthia's return some of those seasons. But then the other part of me is like, girl, you really ever, you were really ever trying to act like you being on the show was just taken away from your business opportunities when the truth of the matter is, girl, a lot of the times being being on the show helps with your business opportunities. It helps with the businesses that you probably have currently going on. Unless you're just one of those lazy who just get on these platforms and don't want to use it or capitalize off of it, then girl, it is what it is. But for the most part, girl, the girls being on a Real Housewives show or any, pr pr probably uh, a lot of these reality shows, it helps. So, you know, people are saying that, girl, was taking time away from my business. Girl, was it? Y'all yeah. know I love Peter. <laughs> That's another reason why I pro probably I'm conflicted, too. Because y'all know I like Peter. <laughs> I don't care what any y'all say. I always respected Peter too for not trying to take Cynthia's money after that divorce. So what y'all think? Y'all think Peter was wrong for taking 15% or accepting the 15%? I don't know how, I don't even know how the 15, I would like to know how that conversation came up though. I would like to know. I remember that because I, like, did Peter bring it up? Like, hey, we need to have a conversation. Are you going to give me, are you going to give me some of your check? Because... I'm part of the reason why, you know. But remember when Peter, uh, remember when Matt tried to take some of Kenya's money? I think he wanted to be paid. And he told, I, I think I remember Peter telling Matt to go ask, excuse me, y'all, sorry, to go ask um, Kenya about her paying him. And Kenya shut it down like, no. But girl, in, in, in the same breath too, Matt, you was just a nigga who she had just met. At least, I mean, at, at least Peter and Cynthia, not even them being husband and wife, they had an established relationship. You see what I'm saying? I don't know, y'all. Y'all let me know. Was Peter wrong? Or Peter was, Peter was rightfully due a look piece, even if it was 10%, 15%, whatever. But he got 15% of that check because Peter played a very important role. A very a important part of Cynthia remaining on the show. I think she did play that. Um, what else? Okay, so what else? Um, 
Oh, so Monica. Monica was at work. She was at work and some guy punched a lady in the audience. Um, I'm gonna try to I'm not I'm not playing, you know, I, I try to avoid playing some videos in my um stuff. I learn from other people, okay? Um, I'm gonna play the audio so you can hear Monica going off, but I will put the link so you can see the video um in the description box. So this is Monica going off, okay? And then she came back and also further explained what happened. Don't you eat up like that? Listen, listen. Listen, y'all don't get that nigga up out of here. What is it? Hey, 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 So after Monica basically started of cursing, she hopped in the audience and went and tried to get the stuff situated. So this is what she had to say. I apologize there, and I'm apologizing here for my actions, but no one would take action. I was so triggered, I watched, and she didn't appear to even know him. It appeared to be about space during a packed concert. <laughs> he punched her with all his strength. My intentions were to prevent her from being hit again, and she wasn't. I asked for help. It fell on deaf ears. It was like seeing my mother or my aunt be assaulted. This woman was 50 plus. I pray she's okay. Happy Sunday to everyone. I almost said something. Shout out to Monica. Shout out to Monica. Shout out to Monica for making sure that that lady was, you know, as protected as much as she could be. Um, yeah, shout out to Monica. They're here punching y'all in the face. Over, over space at a concert. Y'all out here in these streets. <laughs> I'm not going to go there today. We having a good day today. Y'all drained me over this weekend. So I'm not going to, we're going to have a good day today. <laughs> How y'all doing? Y'all doing okay? All right. <laughs> All right, y'all. Um, Young Thug denied Bell for third time as attorney's attempt to secure release amid jury selection. So in the highly publicized YSL Rico trial, Young Thug and Yak Gotti, is that his name? Yak Gotti? I don't know. Is it Yak? Like Yaki? Faced another denial um, for Bell on Friday morning during the uh, legal proceedings. Attorney Brian Steele contended that the conditions of Young Thug's confinement can be viewed as a type of torture. <laughs> he pointed out <laughs> he pointed out issues such as inadequate uh, nutrition leading to kidney problems and the imposition of bright lights during nighttime, which disturb the rapper's sleep. Well, girl, what else he got to do? He got to get up and go to work in the morning. Okay. Girl, he ain't getting no sleep, girl. He need his eight hours. Um, still confidently stated there is no risk of him violating bond. Um, he is an accomplished superstar in the music industry. Prosecutors cited a number of no less than 20 incidents involving various crimes, including drugs committed while individuals charged in the indictment were in confinement. Additionally, additionally prosecutors expressed concerns of flight risk and potential threats towards witnesses and other trial particip participants by Young Thug. Mm -hmm. So sad. Um, the jury selection process in this trial has surpassed the duration of any previous trial in Georgia history and has been stalled by arrest, charges, and disruptions. G Herbo, <laughs> he said he's doing great. Girl, and I don't even think G, Her G, G Herbo stole a lot of money. That's a real gag. Like It wasn't like no go big or go home. It was really some money I felt like he probably could have made on his own eventually. Wasn't it like 150? It wasn't a lot. I think it was like 1.5 total, but it was so many people involved that it's kind of like a once, it, 
And I'm sure that was all getting a cut of what was going on. So it wasn't even like they still walked away with like these millions and millions of dollars and then got caught. It was like money he really could have made on his own. But he said he's doing great. Honey. I don't know what y'all doing, honey. Girl. Girl, let me shut up. He got a girl. I saw that picture of G Herbo walking outside. I mean, I guess five years is better than 20. That's what some of the people have been saying in the comment section. I said, shout out to the, you can tell the people that been to jail. <laughs> there she go. She been to jail. She been to jail. She been to jail. She been to jail. Because if I see one more person act like five years, talking about he could have got 20. Yeah, he could have got 20. But girl, he's still doing five. He could have got zero if he was just minding his goddamn business and trying to live right and do right, okay? Girl, I don't know why y'all acting like five years is not a long time. Yes, five years is not 20 years, but bitch, five, 10, 15, 20, bitch, it's all the same to me, okay? I said, you could always spot the girls who've been to jail before because they're going to quick, they're going to quick, they're going to be quick to tell you, girl. It's just five years, just. Bitch, I wouldn't even spend a weekend in jail. Bitch, let me say something. I had a lot going on because when I was younger, I just did stuff I ain't had no business doing. Like, basically, like driving, no insurance, driving, girl, you know, no registration, driving, no inspection, girl, driving, girl, just drive, girl, driving tickets. Girl driving ain't paid off tickets. So I had a lot going on as far as it pertained to like my license and all that stuff. Um, and uh, one thing about it, two things for sure, it's going to come back. <laughs> it's going to come back. <laughs> it's going to come back. So I eventually had to thank God. I have, I'm not going to, anyway, I know someone who helped me out. Um, but, you know, I had to pay some of the stuff off and I eventually ended up paying it off. Um, but I remember one time one of my friends was telling me, you could just go and sit the tickets out. Who? Who sitting out the tickets? Girl, girl, I will start an OnlyFans page. Girl, I will start a Just For Fans page. Girl, I will go stand on the corner, girl. I will get online and cover my face, face with a mask, girl, girl. <laughs> And, girl, do whatever I need to do online to come up with the money to pay for these secrets before I go sit in any by this jailhouse. Girl, Rodney does not do jail. Not not no holding cell. Not no jail. Not no prison. He not going for no hour. He not going for no weekend. He not, he not going. <laughs> he not going. He is not going. <laughs> he is not going. Girl, he ain't going. That's some of y'all bitches be acting like, girl, 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 <laughs> girl, five years in jail ain't nothing. Yeah, I know that ain't nothing. That's just five years. Five years, girl, that's a long time, girl. A lot done, a lot. Girl, by the time you do five years, girl, Beyonce, but I had another baby, came out with a whole other album. Girl, a lot gonna change in five years. Girl, a lot. I could see maybe if they said, girl, it's 30 days. There are 30 days, girl, I would still lose my mind. Mm -mm. Shout out to all the girls and boys out there who girls just, who just think prison is fun, honey. Because I don't know how y'all doing. Shout out to all y'all, honey. I ain't got time for it. All right, I'm gone. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.